we're going to learn something about the geology around Dunmanus Bay in southwest Ireland. Um, the, uh, we are here about four or five kilometers uh, west of the village of Durrus on the north shore of Dunmanus Bay. The geology in this area is dominated by two thick sequences of rocks. One of them is the Devonian sequence, which is vaguely purple and was deposited in uh, desert conditions. And the other is the Carboniferous, which overlies it. And these two sequences of rocks were laid down uh, between about uh, 360 uh, and, and uh, 300 million years ago. The, the two sequences of rocks were folded by a series of giant earth movements in Western Europe. And they were folded in this area into a series of gigantic upfolds and downfolds. And in the bay behind me, in Dunmanus Bay, this is a downfold. The uh, headland, which beyond that, Mizzen, is a giant upfold. Now, on these major folds, there were little crinkles, minor folds, but these giant folds are what dictate the geography um, and geology of Southwest Ireland. And this means that the peninsulas that stick out into the uh, Atlantic are upfolds and the bays are downfolds. Now, at the end of the Carboniferous, when these, this earth movement took place, this is about 300 million years ago, the younger rocks were on top of the peninsulas, but gradually erosion has worn those away so that along each of the peninsulas you see the older rocks, the Devonian, and you only see the younger rocks, the Carboniferous, along some of the shorelines. And as the peninsulas get narrower towards their end, also you only see the Devonian on the shoreline. So the rocks that we will see on all these headlands, these are the Devonian, vaguely purple rocks. But here on this coastline here, close to Durrus, we have a sequence of uh, shales, um, muddy rocks and sandstones, these thicker rocks here, which are, were deposited in marine conditions. When the sea at the end of the Devonian came into Ireland about 360 million years ago, they uh, gradually the conditions changed from desert to shallow marine and all these rocks here uh, a great thickness of them were deposited in quite shallow marine conditions close to the shore often tidal even you can see in places little ripples caused by tidal movement these rocks here are dipping. They are dipping in this direction towards the center of the downfold, the syncline, in the middle of uh, Dunmanus Bay. And the further you go out into the water, of course we can't see them, the, the rocks get progressively younger in all these bays. So where are we driving now? Northwards now, um, over what's called the Goats Pass, to the north shore of Sheep's Head. So we're leaving the Manus Bay behind us and gradually climbing up over the ridge of Devonian rocks that form the spine of 
sheep's head down onto the north shore of the headland which is the south side of Bantry Bay. So we're leaving the Manus Bay and heading northwards towards Bantry Bay. Well here we're on the spine of Sheep's Head and we're right at the top of the Goats Pass. The rocks here have a slight purpley tinge and that's because the Carboniferous rocks that formerly went right over the head have long ago been eroded away and we're back down to the older rocks here. And then out to the south of us here we see Dunmanus Bay and the rocks along the coastline there are the Carboniferous now. We've come over the big upfold and we're picking up the younger rocks and out in the water in Dunmanus Bay are still younger Carboniferous rocks which we don't see. And then the big downfold in, in Dunmanus Bay is followed by another big upfold or anticline in on along Mizzen and the spine of Mizzen across there is also in the same purplish Devonian rocks that we're standing on here so they've come up here down under the water and up on the other side from the same vantage point on the spine of, of Sheep's Head, we now look northwards across Bantry Bay. Just visible on the far shorelines are the towns of Glengariff and Castletown Bear. The long island there is Bear Island, out in the middle of uh, Bantry Bay. The rocks here we're standing on are Devonian. The rocks that form the spine of the Bearer Peninsula, the other side of, on the north side of, of Bantry Bay, are also Devonian. These rocks that we're standing on here have gone down in a big downfold under the deep waters of the Bantry Bay and up into an anticline, an upfold on Bearer. The Carboniferous rocks are found along the both shorelines of Bantry Bay but have been eroded over the tops of the upfolds. So later we will see some of these rocks as we get down to the coast. And this is typical of these peninsulas. They narrow towards the end and as they narrow you get only the Devonian rocks on the coastline and as they broaden out gradually you get the younger Carboniferous rocks coming in along the, the coastline and the spines of all these peninsulas are formed by the older Devonian rocks. Uh, let's have a look at some pebbles that we see on this little beach. So I see there's a lot of grey rocks. Yes. What, what are they? Well this is part of the local Carboniferous. This is a very fine grain sandstone or siltstone that comes out from the Carboniferous just locally here and it gets a lot of wave action and it gets rounded and uh, the, most of the things here are semi-rounded. And would this be the same? Yes, so this, carboniferous. this is also Carboniferous. It's rather buff coloured uh, sandstone out of the same sequence. There. And if I just pick up a handful of bubbles here? Well, if the pink ones come from the uh, Devonian higher up on the hill behind us, uh, but they're relatively local and the white are the, the white pieces are pieces of quartz that, um, that have worn out that were originally veins in these rocks that were put into the rocks. So it's just, you're really looking in that handful at the local geology. A mixture of, of the geology on sheep's head in your hand there. Mm -hmm. 